Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be working on a summer cami peplum. It's similar to the other summer cami video, but this is just the peplum style. Um, so we're gonna start out by cutting our pattern pieces. And this beautiful floral is from Cotton and Lace. And I believe their shop is closing down uh, for vacation, but they will be open again next week. So let's go ahead and start cutting. your back piece and your front piece. I have my long strip for binding for these straps and I um, cut a long piece for the skirt. Um, I just measure the, the bottom piece of how wide it is so it's about six inches for the skirt. Um, so I just did it the full length of my ruler. It's about a half inch difference, but I'm going to hem it so it won't make much of a difference. But um, I cut just a long strip because um, I'm going to be using my uh, gathering foot to, to attach it to my bodice piece. The first thing that we're going to do is um, go ahead and set up my binding machine. And just like how the, I did the summer cami, the other summer cami, the top version, um, we are going to bind the back and the front and then work on the straps. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, um, you can go watch that video for for watching me how I do my binding on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do that. Um, so once I've binded the front, the back, and my sleeves, I'll meet you back. So I decided to add a fox placket uh, before I started binding my pieces. Um, so I cut a two and a half inch wide a strip by however long my bodice is and I'm gonna apply a one inch strip of um, of this stabilizer to the middle Then I'm gonna fold in my end pieces and just line it up to where I would like it to go. Just in the middle. Once, um, once it's where I want it to be, 
So I'm just gonna clip it in place so it stays. And then I'm gonna take it over to my cover stitch or you can use your sewing machine and you can just stitch straight down so it stays in place. So let me do that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is what that looks like. So I just top stitched it down and now it's ready to bind. So then once I finish it, I'll just sew on my buttons. Okay, so my binder is set up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the front and the back and the straps and then I'll meet you back so we can add our skirt bottom. Okay, so here is what the binding looks like. Um, so next we're gonna attach our ruffled bottom. So I'm gonna set you up at my serger and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is um, change our settings. So I'm gonna change it to two and I'm gonna change my top one to four and I'm going to leave my knife as is, and then my knob settings, I'm going to do um, about close to six, six, and then leave it in between um, five and four. Okay, so I'm going to grab my um, bodice and my gathering. Okay, so I had to grab my... Um, my pieces so I'm gonna get my long strip and I'm gonna place it in the bottom just as you would so just as the regular way you would um, serge just on the bottom and then I'm gonna place my one of we haven't searched the side seams, so I'm gonna place one of my, I'm gonna do the, my back bodice first, and I'm gonna place it in between. Right here. And then I'm gonna start um, surging as I would. And I'm, just uh, try to keep both of these aligned. So this is what it will look like. And then you can just trim the portion here and you can trim here. So we're going to I'm going to go ahead and trim it and then I'm going to do my front front piece.
All right, so this is what our gathers will look like. I already trimmed the excess of it. Um, this is not um, like really gathered. It's just um, a bit gathered. It's just preference. Um, you'll want to up your tension if you want it more gathered. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put right sides together and we're gonna close up our top. So we're gonna match up our seams. And I got these pretty little tags from Mayday Labels. Um, they're little sunflowers. I'm just gonna add it. Um, I think I want it up here somewhere. So I'm gonna clip it where I want it and then I'll serge it on once. Um, I surged my sides, so I'm gonna go ahead and go surge my sides down. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is just hem our bottom and attach our button. So I'm gonna do that, um, and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like. All right, guys, here's the end result of this peplum and I made a matching bummies and I hope you liked this video um, please like and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching